Hello everyone, the programmer is here. Today I will show you how to install GTA 5 modes with a uh, Steam version of the game. And for those who have a question like uh, can I install modes on my PlayStation 3 or uh, PlayStation 4 or 5 Xbox, uh, no matter, you can't. It's not possible. You can find anywhere. If you find video who showing you that uh, some tutorial, it's it's a little fake. It's fake. It's not possible. So open the Steam, open the game where you have installed. For example, I have GTA 5 on the Steam. Go to library and go to home. Find GTA 5 on the left on the game list. Right click, manage, browse local files. Where game is installed, like this. If you have epic version of the game, I will show you on the bottom of the screen where is the location of the game files on the epic version. So let's start. <clears throat> First, you need to create two copy of the GTA 5 and one folder called version 1. Why do you have always a clean GTA 5 uh, game, I mean folder, so you can go and play online with your friends or solo. And the second folder will be for your mods, cars, uh, characters, maps and a lot more. And when you want to play online, just rename this and for example version 2. Then go back to your original GTA folder and rename and remove this number one and that's it you can go and play online but without any problem and you don't need to worry to be banned or something else so let's go back and rename this folder again because we need folder number two for modes go open this folder and now create new folder and call it mods simple now copy next folders update x44 and common into mods folder like this copy open mods folder and paste <clears throat> after that Open your Google Chrome or whatever browser you use and type GT5 modes. And on the first result, go on that website www.gt5mods.com. Now, here go in the search and type script. You will need script hook 5. This is the mother of the of everything. Without this script, you can't play with mods. You can mods and nothing in GTA 5. This is the basic and uh, main script. So let's go and download. Go here on Alexander website and go to download and download wherever you want. After you download the script, you will need to unzip it with program like is WinRAR, Zip7 or, or others. In my case I am using WinRAR, so with right click, extract here, you will get these files, go to the bin folder and copy the input 8 and script hook 5 files copy and go to GTA 5 folder for modes and just in the ma your main folder where is all files right click paste so that's it that's the first step now let's go and install trainer I don't know whatever you want or you wish I'm using the simple trainer so let's open the GTA modes website again let's go to the search and type simple op simple trainer and there it is open 
and down below these two. So let's go where you download the simple trainer. Right click and extract here. Now we will copy only these two files. This is the trainer files. Right click, copy and let's go to the GT5 mode folder and paste in main folder where is all files and voila that's it you have basic script i mean main script script hook 5 and you have trainer so let's load the game to see if everything works now when you load the game let's go and test simple trainer f3 to open the trainer and for example let's go to see the time noon and it's working cars spawn uh, i don't know for example muscle uh dominator and that's it trainer work we have time and it's beautiful sunny day and that's it now let's go to continue with tutorial now let's go back to the gta 5 modes website and in search type open we need open 4 open 4 is a application software or program however you want to call it with who we install cars scripts and uh, everything else so let's download it will lead you to their page open4.com so download it and install it after you install open the, the open4 program the windows this is not true i don't know i never found the mods for consoles and install plugins for gta5 like it say AC manager and now install one by one and close that's it and close this for now now open your browser and go to gta5modes.com the website for gta5 modes and let's go install one add-on car for example mm, i don't know let's pick one okay bmw let's go to download download wherever you wish when you download the, the car i mean the file right click extract here so open the mode folder uh, 5m this is for uh, this is car files for 5m servers if you want to play on server with others uh, who play with the modes but in our case I'm showing for single player so go to single player folder and there is car file so let's go to check the readme <clears throat> every modder who creates something there is a readme file uh, what is the readme the readme is the instruction how to install the uh, how to install the mode so what we need we need copy bmb folder okay we need to create because i didn't see the f that folder here yes create the folder call it like this what we read in the readme bmw m8 and copy to gta folder modes update x44 delta packs okay so now move the car file into this created folder just drag and drop or right click cut and paste here okay now we will, we will move this car file into gta5 right click on the file cut let's go to the where is the game here modes update folder x 44 delta packs 
and you right click here and paste and car is here now let's go to the readme file again we'll need to open gta5 of course modes folder update update rpf common data delta list okay and we will need to copy this line if you don't copy this line the car will not spawn in the game just remember that so open software open 4 i mean that that's the name <laughs> now go to the modes folder update update rpf common data and five and find the delta list dot xml and you will need to extract that somewhere i will extract in this folder by drag and drop now i will open with notepad and go down make a space and paste this code what we see in the readme this one you need to paste here now go file save and that's it now open open for application drag this delta list and drop it here now just open by pushing double click go down and you will see your car mode is here now close everything and load the game to see if the car mode is working okay we load the game again press f3 to open the simple tra trainer go to vehicle spawning and go to the bottom to find added vehicle menu that's for add-on car and at first on the list is BMW and let's click enter to spawn I mean five and that's it exit the trainer the car is here nice the car is awesome and that's it with this method, what I just explained you, you can download a lot of cars and play it and having fun all day. Okay, let's go next now. If you will want to add more cars, and I know you will want, go to back to this website, gta5mods.com and in the search, type game son Fiji and press enter to search it and this is a script uh, who I always download because it's uh, update all the time so let's open and download it if you download this and you add I don't know for example five or more cars your game will be crash and you will not be able to load the game it's simple now let's go and extract the file what we download if you have for example a pirate version of the game go here and you will have version of the game i don't know choose one for the game what you have in my example i have a original game from the steam i will go to here gta config version 27 and there is two folder if you have less modes and more modes but i don't know who use less modes i always will use more modes because i have a lot of modes installed in my game so let's the let's uh, open this folder and here you go you have uh, if you want uh, more traffic for example double triple and more 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 traffic but i want I want stock traffic what it means GTA base it's original so open that 
and now open software open for now go to the modes update folder update rpf folder common data and find game config file this file here and it's here now drag this and paste here and that's it now close everything and that's it guys there is one more method to replace the cars in the game but uh, I don't advise you to do that because there is a lot modes car modes on that website and they're very very detailed and if you replace that car with one car in the game there is a chance to your game have a FPS drop and the game will be laggy or crash or something else I don't know my advice is don't do that I just only add all the time add on cars and that's it and that's how I play last six seven years okay guys thank you for watching and this is part one of the tutorial there will be more part more tutorials how to install some scripts or uh, characters or something else so thank you for watching have a nice day and see ya